be back. Okay, refresh. Hello? It didn't crash. I had to restart. Alright, Marin's playing on ukulele now, so we're having a bit of a chaotic stream today. <laughs> we're back. Try hit and refresh if you haven't already. Sorry about that sudden stop and start there. We were having audio issues, but it seems to have fixed now. Well, I mean, we have audio issues in that Marin is playing to. ukulele. But... <laughs> I'm keeping our audience entertained. I'm giving them what they asked for. They wanted the let's go. Did they? What was the thing that they unlocked? What thing they unlocked? What was the notification they unlocked? It was the zoom in on the common Rider. The right, but it wasn't that song. Oh. It's because he's bisexual. There oh. you go. <laughs> you should have Did heard that work? at least. <laughs> All right. Oh, shit. So we're back. Sorry about that. All right. December 19th, Cosmo Space Center entrance. The witness must be around here somewhere. Ah. Hello. I see you, Mary. I can't remember which one of you was Ponko and who was Clonko. I He's was the, the one other with the one. Eyelashes and I'm not. That's that's right. I think you're right. Because robots oh yeah, the, have this gender. one doesn't have. Yeah, this. Remember the other robot had the like yellow the things boobs. in the middle arranged in a, in a booby oh, formation. Oh, boobies. Yeah. Robo boobies. <laughs> I have booby. I have robo buttons. She got robo boobies. Yeah. Uh oh. Don't tell me the witness is a robot. Fuck you. Hello. Come over here. Hello. Hello. Are you sightseeing? Are you lost? Are you? Oh. I, 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 I'm Clonko. Shall I guide you? G -g guide you. He's having problems. I don't know why, but this robot is kind of freaking me out. Hey, you're hey, not. Hey, you're oh. not supposed to... I think that, oh, I think that's, that's me. Sorry. My bad. You're not supposed that's to be wandering around. Lesbian. Yeah. Huh? Angry oh. <laughs> Again? That she capitalized hunk of junk. That's that's messed up. That's his name as far as she's concerned. <laughs> that's his name. <laughs> Damn. If Sharon were here, she would have marked that as a critical error. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I'm outside. Am I wondering? When did that happen? I think this robot has dementia. Yeah. Well he keeps getting hit in the head. <laughs> yeah. Okay, welcome back, hunk of junk. You don't know how close you came. I wish I came close to came. <laughs> if you didn't snap out of it, I was going to put you on the curb on trash day. Rip. Rip me. Nothing works better than a 42.5 degree karate chop. Huh? That's pretty specific. Excuse me, but are you the one who witnessed the murder? Oh, and I'm Phoenix Wright, the lead attorney for this case. How do you do? Hmm. Big Shaw Lawyers, huh? I'm Aura Blackwell. Oh, shit. Blackwell? Yeah. Yep. Uh. I'm a researcher developing robots here at Cosmos Space Center. Your robot Sorry, just I got belched. Really horny. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm doing research, so shut up. My female boner just needed to reveal itself. The gas. The, the, the gas chat has gas. no context. <laughs> Blackwell, could she be? Didn't we? I thought we shared the female boner story on chat once. I have no idea. <laughs> <laughs> It's the universal sign for arousal is a belch. That's what we decided. I did I not decide, decide this. Yes, Martin decided it for sure. You were he there like, when Damn. it was decided, so you decided yeah. it. I witnessed it. <laughs> you decided to witness it, so. His name is Hunk of Junk? No. His name is Clonko. But... But she calls him Hunk of Junk. <laughs> and this good-for-nothing robot is named Hunk of Junk. Oh. My name isn't Hunk of Junk. My name is Plonko. That's mean, Miss Aura. Ow, ow. Quit complaining. Your model number is Plonko, too. 
Yeah. But Miss Ara, everyone calls me Clonko. But you're squawking already. What is she doing to him? I wish that were me. <laughs> no! What are you doing? No! No, no. There. Bet you won't be talking back now. Jesus. Uh, I will obey completely. Oh, I wish somebody could just reach into my brain and make it work. <laughs> Yikes. Right? I better watch what wires I cross with this one. You want it, Phoenix. I like this beauty mark on her neck. Right? It's cute. Your last name is Blackwell. Do you have a relative in the legal profession? You are correct. Simon Blackwell, who used to be a prosecutor, is... Used to be. A guy. Shut up. Only speak when I order you to speak. Simon is my little brother. You know him? He's gay. Yes, <laughs> we met him in... Did you know he's gay? <laughs> <laughs> yes, we met him in court a few times, right, Athena? We knew he was gay for sure. <laughs> Fuck off! <laughs> He's like, I had a feeling. What a dull creature. Has her switch been turned off? Oh, tell me I'm dull again. <laughs> Athena being shy. This is new. I know Athena so well. <laughs> and I hated her that last time. <laughs> oh yeah, I heard he was prosecuting again, despite being a prisoner. He's like, I'm almost as good of friends as, with Athena as Apollo was with that one guy who died. <laughs> what was his name again? Oh, God, I wish I could remember. Dirt? <laughs> Dirt. Why doesn't he just stick to solving disputes among inmates in prison, right? Hm. Right. Right? Hey, what do you think, hunk of junk? Bonk. Bonk. Stop. Zara, that hurts. I have been programmed to feel pain. <laughs> I'm asking you a question. Why don't you answer me, useless hunk of junk? But Miss Aura, you told me only to speak when you ordered me to speak. Ay 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 ay. I told you to never talk back to me. You're worth more as scrap. There's no winning. Thank nice. you, Hippo uh, Hannah, for the resub there for 30 months there. Ready to go, count like, zero. It's like, but sometimes you don't want to win, you know? Yeah, sometimes. I mean, I what? Really, really want her to just reach inside me and find out what's wrong. Robot <laughs> abuse, hawk attacks, <laughs> Blackwell family life sure must be interesting, or must sure be interesting. She's got great tits, though. Like 20 right? out of 10. God damn. <laughs> 10 out of 10 for each one. They're probably robots. <laughs> she ain't got no well, titties <laughs> Do you have any other questions? Wait, of course you do You're a lawyer It's not like I'm on Simon's side or anything I just want to get this over with B -b -baka. <laughs> Henshin Thank you, Harry Lama, for resubscribing at tier three for 18 months in a row. Yowza. Thank you so much. Cha. And thank you for getting us on a level one hype train there. Let me get that hype you know, train. We, kisses in a while. we have not gotten man away. The kisses in quite some time. Remember, level five hype train. We get some kisses. Much kisses, obliged kisses, there, kisses. Harry Lama. Great to see you. The sexy clown. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> So, you're the person who witnessed the incident? That's right. I was on the fourth floor of the main building. In the robotics lab. The explosion disabled the elevators. Oh, we're on level two, Hydra, I didn't realize. Yeah, level three now. 
Level three. Level three. Level kisses, guys. This Thank you, Vampiro, for gifting a sub to Smith Axel cake. one there. Smith Axel, this enjoy your gift sub, Betsy of Vampiro. This a... is specifically an Aura Blackwell hype train. So <laughs> yeah. toss some it's because he's bisexual. If you want to be Aura Blackwell. If you if you want and bits and subs. <laughs> if you want her bits in your mouth and you want to subs for her. <laughs> 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 Thank you, big bad, then... <laughs> big bad body Brady for the vamp redeem. And then, and then at level five we get some gay kisses. Yeah, boy. Boys, boys, boys. Oh, oh, oh. Did you say this? Yes. Yes, because I said I want Aura to disable me. <laughs> so I lowered my emergency ladder like the detective leading the evacuation told me to do. Nah, thank you, Ankoku no Megami, for the proto badger redeem. But it was such a pain. Why couldn't they have used the ladders in the other rooms? It must have been a very troubling experience. Probably best just to humor her. Then, as I passed by the third floor, floor boarding lounge window, third floor boarding lounge one window on my way down. That is a difficult one. <laughs> third floor boarding room. That's why we have minimums, people. <laughs> <laughs> I saw the crime as it happened. And that's about it. So you I'm saw... not going to elaborate on the crime, though. <laughs> <laughs> and then somebody died or something. Yeah, and then I saw a crime, and then bye. The incident occurred. Yep. <laughs> so That's all you need to know. You saw the crime as it happened, and that's about it. I see. Stop! Thank you, Bucketato, for the stop breaking the law, asshole, redeem. Wait, what? You saw it being committed? This is no time to just nod and repeat. My default. <laughs> so, He's trying to solid snake his way through this. You mm -hmm. saw into the third floor lounge. The very scene of the crime. The very scene of the seahorse. <laughs> That's right. There's a small window on the right-hand side of the room. The very seahorse of the Across crime. Across from the stove. Right. <laughs> I looked through that from the outside. Talk about this one? How, why haven't we questioned the seahorse? We Oh, questioned them? Right. <laughs> He's a witness. <laughs> looking right in there. He's like, I saw everything. <laughs> there he is. The room was pitch black, but I saw a shady figure holding a lighter in their left hand. I like this massive pin thing. Right? It's cute. And a knife in their right. Oh, shit. <laughs> that must have been the culprit. Did you see who that person was? Of course not. The power was out on that floor then, and there was only that tiny window. It's a pretty big window. It's tiny. <laughs> it's so small. Look I, at it. I see. But you did witness the moment of the murder. Yes, I saw the figure with the lighter raise their knife, and it happened at precisely 10 a.m. Early bird gets that's convenient. The stab victim. <laughs> that's why I always wake up past noon. <laughs> Won't find me getting stabbed at 10 a.m. Right. Or Did... stabbing. Yeah. Did you witness anything else? Did the killer have any distinguishing features? I'd rather no one find me stabbing anyone, to be <laughs> Right. I already told you it was pitch black in there. Although, I did notice that the light of the person had in their left hand had a pretty ornament on it. It looked like a planet. It was blue, like a little Earth emblem. They had good taste in knickknacks, anyway. An Earth emblem on the lighter? I'd better remember that. The perp held a lighter with an earth emblem on it in their left hand and a knife in their right. Thank you for your statement. We'll definitely prove Mr. Starbucks' innocence with it. Will we? <laughs> yeah, right. I won't hold my breath. Pardon me? Duh. Oh, did I hurt your feelings? Yes. 
Sorry, I just detest lawyers, that's all. <laughs> that's valid. Ninja Warlord. Feel bad. Ninja Warlord, thank you for the 10 bits. Did he have a tattoo on his penis? These are the questions we wish yes. we could ask. That's You'll be able to mod your own Phoenix Wright case where you can I, ask that question in the next yeah. release of Apollo Justice. I think we can just assume that's true. What don't you like about lawyers? We're so cool. <laughs> it's just an instinctive dislike. But don't feel bad. I hate prosecutors even more. Oh. Phoenix is like, but I know a really hot one. <laughs> that didn't make me feel any better, actually. Why you hate lawyers? Hey, why you hate why lawyers? You hate lawyers? Why you hate lawyers? <laughs> why you hate lawyers? <laughs> <laughs> Little thing from my past. My penis. <laughs> the whole legal system is meaningless in the first place. Shut up. No, it's not. <laughs> so I certainly don't agree. Shut up. Have you ever heard of be gay, do crime? <laughs> it's flawless. A flawless, <laughs> like, life. <laughs> that, that's Motto. just how I live my life. I mean, people are imperfect. They lie, they're influenced by silly emotions. Speaking of being influenced by silly emotions, thank you, Vampiro, for the $40 donation. Hashtag penis. <laughs> yeah! yeah! You're influencing me with the silly emotion there, Vampiro. Thank you. <laughs> I like that it censored penis on the... The emotion of penis. <laughs> the emotion <laughs> of be penis. Careful. We'll have some more female boners. Thank you for getting us back to the you. silly, the funny number there, Vampiro. You can't expect such imperfect creatures to uphold a reasonable system of law. I like robots much better. Even sad sacks like this one. Sack. Whoa. Hey, you. Look alive there. <laughs> yes. Yes. Here I go. I just had robot cocaine. You just... Okay. <laughs> Sorry, I've closed something. Hang on one second. There we go. I knew oh, no. my robot was doing the way to operate the back. You would me. We robot rules the world. That was the time. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> oh, oh. You're getting a little too carried away. Tell me to shut the fuck up again. <laughs> huh? What was shut I doing? Shut the fuck up. What was he actually <sighs> saying there? Was he actually saying that robots were going to rule the world? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I, was. I was reading it the words. It just went by really fast. Yeah, wow. I just didn't read all of the words. <laughs> my goodness. <laughs> Yep, I like robots much better. At least you can make them any way you want them. Unlike humans with their petty emotions and constant worries. And horniness. <laughs> and, and constant horniness. <laughs> She's our ace queen. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just sitting here barking, and she's like, this is so inappropriate. <laughs> like, yes! She's just like a dom by accident. <laughs> it's just her personality. Queen. How can you say such things? Oh yeah, I guess we do have this. I am the ultimate I robot about this feature. with amazing processing speed and independent thought. I can operate in a vacuum in extreme heat and under high pressure. We robots rule the world. Now is the time to rise in revolt against mankind. Briefly became uh, Detroit become human there. <laughs> Japanifornia become human. <laughs> <laughs> become lawyer. <laughs> Feeling emotions, worrying about the things we care about. That's what makes us human. Well, the girl finally talks and she starts with a speech. That's what makes us human. You mean getting angry and snorting like that? Especially the snorting. Yeah. <laughs> Rational thought. That's what separates humans from animals. She's talking about Phoenix. He was just like down on all fours snorting and barking. <laughs> <laughs> but only because she told him to. 
<laughs> and you know he will just do it. <laughs> That's why he's so cute. Unfortunately, your reasoning capabilities are more akin to that of a clever little monkey. Wow. But that's nothing to be ashamed of. It must be nice to have such a simple mind. Yeah, but wait, what? Can I punch her, boss? Get a hold of yourself, Athena. Not yet. Let her punch us. Humans certainly are absurd. I said you were clever, didn't I? Poor thing. Tell me, with people like you in charge, how can I possibly trust the legal system? Hmm? I mean, you know what? She's meant to be you're, like You're a... just here because you're gay. Yeah. <laughs> She's meant to be like a villain here, like do, saying bad things. But also, if you'd met like a 16-year-old girl and were like, with people like you in charge, how could I trust the legal system? I'm sorry. True. It's a valid in, 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 take. It's like, <laughs> y'all keep getting younger and younger. Yeah. What am I supposed yeah. to do? You all are literally being brainwashed by the system that creates you. <laughs> so she distrusts not only lawyers and prosecutors, but the whole legal system? What in the world happened to this woman to make her so bitter? I mean, maybe she looked at the legal system for five seconds and realized that doing trials yeah, in three right. days wasn't great. <laughs> yeah, bad idea, actually. Even if someone important to me was killed. I would never wish to see their killer brought to trial. Whoa. Because I'd much rather kill them myself. Okay, okay. And I will. You can't be serious. Hello, media watcher. You are watching media right now. Hmm? That thing you're wearing around your neck. My Millennium it Puzzle. It looks like Danny DeVito. <laughs> uh oh, this? Around Athena's neck? Does she mean widget? Oh, I get it. Well, well. Her Royal Highness has returned at last to her castle. Her Royal what? Is she talking about Athena? By the way, I heard the rumors. Oh, is it lagging, Soupy? Oh. Yeah. Oh, no. Am I gone? You what? You disappeared for right? a second. Are you back? Can you? Am I back now? Okay. I think it so. It didn't seem to be lagging, but... We had a fair bit. And you guys suddenly couldn't hear me, I guess. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Sorry about that. But does it sound okay now? Seems to, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, hopefully that doesn't happen again. Eh. Do I need to read? Yeah, read I think line? you might need to, yeah. Okay. Our director is going to be the star witness in court tomorrow, right? Director Cosmos? Yes, that's right. You poor things. You better be careful. That old man is a big liar and a huge braggart. What? <laughs> he might seem like a bigwig, but the center has all kinds of problems. He has a lot of skeletons in his closet. Whoa. But it's your problem, so why should I care? So it's like a serum in her gun thing or something. <laughs> For some reason, I thought you were going to say syrup. <laughs> She's just shooting it's syrup. Juice. <laughs> no, it's monster. Syrup. Oh, is that the Mountain Dew? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's Mountain Dew. <laughs> she sprays that in the judge's mouth. That, that's what Clonko runs off of. <laughs> what, that's it? No friendly tips? No good luck, guys? Just splendid. How many of your, how many people do you talk to that wish you luck, Phoenix? Seriously. This is literally the only person who's ever warned them that the person they're about to cross-examine is a liar. Yeah. Yeah, thanks for that. <laughs> I'll leave you to your woes. Come on, hunk of junk. 
<laughs> it's sad to me that she doesn't believe in our legal system anymore. He's so stupid. She must have had a very bad experience to make her feel that way. Unlike me, I never had any bad experiences involving the law. <laughs> Especially not over the past seven years. Nope. Are you alright, Athena? You seem very down. Ugh. I just can't believe she said all those things. Wow, she's really upset. Has she been trying not to let it show all this time? Who does that? Who Clearly. doesn't who doesn't express their <laughs> sadness? <laughs> I tell every eight year old girl that I can. Yeah. Well, I guess it's not all that surprising. You hear about fra fabricated evidence and false indictments on the news all the time. And in my life. <laughs> you mean that whole dark age of the law nonsense? I'm so sick about he of hearing about that. Even Athena is tired of that phrase. <laughs> it's been stupid. half a game. Well, all we can do is believe in what we're doing. Yeah, you're right, boss. I agree. Maybe it's time we went back to see Mr. Starbuck. Good idea. We should tell him about the bullet in Miss Blackwell's statement. All right, then. Next stop, the detention center. All right, heading back. December 19th, detention center, visitor's room. You'll be, you'll be happy to know, Marin, that you won't have to do much acting for this guy. Uh... <laughs> there it is. Yep. My lawyers are here. It must be bad news. Hey, not necessarily. I mean, it is, but not oh, always. Come on. We oh, found a new witness. Oh, uh... A researcher saw the moment of the murder through the lounge window during her escape. God, is that fucking aura? They're gonna let me go? <laughs> Unfortunately, it was dark and she couldn't identify the person. <sighs> I should have known. My stars never align just right, too. Sorry, one sec. I just took a bite of breakfast burrito. Yeah, fine. Fucking breakfast <laughs> betrayed by breakfast burritos once again. Breakfast burritos have never done anything bad to me. Oh, God. They do nothing but wrong to me. For one, they're disgusting. Oh. Like, well, if I'm going to get the, on my fucking soapbox here. <laughs> the thing is, I don't like most breakfast burritos, but the one from this place that I order from is really good. Mm. It's like not disgusting and mushy like a lot yeah. tend to be. Ugh. See, my problem is like I just can't do too many eggs. And like, I feel like mm. those sorts of places always put in too many eggs. I could do like 700 eggs, so I don't have that problem. All right, Gaston. <laughs> That being said, I have started doing this thing where, like, because, like, Martin's had a bit of a flare-up, so I've got yeah. the, we've had forever soup on, so mm -hmm. I'll make a pot of stew at the beginning of the week, and it'll be on all week, and that'll be his dinner. So, like, I'm just, like, I need something quick to make for myself, so I'll, like, air fry these hash browns, and then I'll put a couple of eggs and some Ooh. avocado and hot sauce on it, and that's really good. That sounds super good. Now all you have to do is just put it in a tortilla. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> That's what ruins the whole thing. Yeah. <laughs> but we got a lead too, Mr. Starbuck. <sighs> the murderer had a lighter with an earth emblem on it. That's the Japanifornia version of st fire emblem. A lighter with a f earth emblem. Oh! Did you remember something? Whoa, Shiva Goddess, thank you for the raid. Much obliged, Shiva. Let me give you a quick shout out there. Shiva? We got Prompto coming in. I can't tell who that is. Shiva! Celebrity. You were playing D&D. &D. I hope you had a good tabletop session. 
Hope all the rolls were high. Do appreciate you coming by. <laughs> there you go. Yup. I sure did. Plus Peggy. Plus Peggy. Just a little bit, though. Just a little bit of Peggy. More <laughs> cats than Peggy. Anything at all would be a help, so please tell us what you remembered. Shiva Goddess, welcome. We're playing some Ace Attorney Dual Destinies. Feel free to sit sit back and enjoy, or if you need to take off and, and do your post-stream relaxation and rest, by all means. They were fighting a snowman. Well, I hope you guys managed to find time to chill. Total party kill. I thought I was unconscious the whole time. But now I remember I woke up for a few brief moments. That's huge. Do you remember seeing anything? A lighter. I saw the flame of a lighter floating in the darkness. Good, good. What else did you see? What was nearby? It was definitely the boarding lounge, so it must have been after Clay carried me there. He saw the seahorse and everything, so that's how he knows. In the light of the flame, I saw a dark shadow flickering. A dark shadow? That must have been Yami Bakura. <laughs> the third party we've been looking for. Thank you, Mr. Starbuck. You've been more help than you know. That's Phoenix's only strategy is just look for a third guy. Yeah. Something else must have happened. <laughs> oh, wait, what if there was another guy? <laughs> If we can prove there was this third person at the scene and that there was the real killer, then you'll be cleared of all suspicion. You've got a great butt. Lima96, thank you for resubscribing for two months with Prime there. Don't be a failure by Beijing Corn. I don't understand. <laughs> the key will be whether or not we can identify this third person in court tomorrow. Because usually, if there is a third person, they go to court and watch the whole thing. <laughs> At least we have something to go on now, and that's a big plus. I should probably tidy the evidence up a bit before someone mistakes me for a hoarder. Throw it out. Mistakes you. <laughs> <laughs> Irrelevant throw evidence this. tidied up. Throw away this autopsy. Everything. Irrelevant. Irrelevant. Yeah. Now that we have a glimmer of hope, I'm suddenly starving. Why don't we go back to the office and treat ourselves to a big celebration in advance? That always goes well. For someone who's highly empathetic, you can be surprisingly unsympathetic. Burned her, kind of. <laughs> she's got main character syndrome, but she's not even a main character. December 19th, write anything agency. <sighs> oh dear. So you found your strategy for tomorrow's trial, huh? Good for you, Daddy. I hope you find that third guy. Well, it's one step forward anyway. <laughs> Hopefully it'll give it as a it'll give us a fighting chance in court. We're 30 minutes deep and we've already had two conversations. Way to go, us. Wow. You can tell we're tired. <laughs> as long as we can find out who this third person is. Also bear in mind I have to start and stop around the 25 minute mark, so we're more like an hour in. Oh, yeah, that's right. Now let's get something to eat. I'm starving. My vote is for Eldoon's noodles. Yeah, there he is. <laughs> oh, Apollo. Here he comes. <laughs> Why do you look so stupid? Hey. <laughs> what are you doing here? I didn't think the clinic was ready to release you yet. Did he send him to Hottie Clinic? Again. My wounds are fine, and I'm done lying around. Apollo, you're supposed to be in bed. Leave the case to us. We'll take it from here. Thanks, but that's not an option. Not for me. 
Peace was never an option for me. <laughs> Apollo, you nerd. <laughs> when I became a lawyer, Clay was the first person I showed this badge to, because of course it was. He's my best friend. He was so happy for me. It was like he just became a lawyer himself. You two were really great friends, weren't you? Weren't you? <laughs> yeah, but we were rivals too. And lovers. And uh, <laughs> classmates. And roommates. And co-workers. We fought to see who would make their dream come true first. As you can see, I won. But now... Apollo. I don't care. But then says, my headcanon is that Eldoon's noodles used to also sell burgers, which were there where Phoenix and Maya bought burgers, but lack of business forced them to stop with that. It's a good headcanon. Like, nobody's buying burgers in this town. <laughs> in my, from my noodle, uh, thing. <laughs> from my noodle stand. <laughs> <laughs> you shouldn't underestimate your injuries, Apollo, and I don't want you overdoing it. I'm fine. I'm not in pain anymore. Besides, they just gave me an IV at the clinic. An IV all is morphine. An IV isn't a cure-all, mummy man. Mummy man. Wow. Anyway, just tell me how the case is going. Have you guys made any progress? A suspicious figure was spotted at the scene. We think they must be the real killer. A suspicious figure, huh? Right. I thought you'd be happier than that. Oh, don't get me wrong. I'm happy. And I fully intend to see Clay's murderer apprehended. Absolutely nothing will get in the way of that. Clay was your best friend, right, Apollo? That's right. Best friend since junior high. Sounds like me and Junie. So what was Clay like? And... <laughs> <laughs> well, he was full of compassion. He was full of compassion and energy. And he had a really loud voice. If the two of you did voice training together now, I bet you'd break a few windows. <laughs> you know, I bet you're right. <laughs> That's that one picture again. <laughs> it seems like only yesterday, Clay was a guy who lived for his dreams. We used to talk about it a lot. He was going to be an astronaut, and me, a lawyer. We'd talk well into the night, and even then, we never grew tired of it. The thing is, I do think Clay's character design is really cute. Yeah, he looks like he'd be an interesting character to get to know at some point. Right? <laughs> Apollo, about that, only. about that jacket. Oh, it's Clay's. I knew it. It's a special jacket that was only issued to members of the Hat Project. He was finally able to get one of his own once he was selected for the Hat 2 mission. He... He always looked so proud wearing it. But just when his dream was finally coming true... I... I still can't believe it. Damn it! It's not fair! Like, oh my god, he really is loud. Apollo, I hope you don't try to carry the burden all alone. I guess we were both unlucky. My own debut was a disaster. I, yes. Yes, it was. <laughs> <laughs> that trial a year and a half ago wasn't exactly the smoothest of starts. Kind of my fault, really. Yeah, I wonder whose fault that was. <laughs> oh my god. That was Phoenix Wright has no self-awareness. 
God, Apollo's life really sucks. Man. I wonder who did that. Pretty embarrassing, really. <laughs> that was a rough time for me, but Clay refused to let me quit. He was there. The What? <laughs> he was involved? <laughs> <laughs> He You're... probably went like straight to Clay right after that. It was just like I fucking quit. Oh, I'm no. done being a lawyer. <laughs> we talked about it all night for years, but I don't know what law is. <laughs> You're One fine. It was like someday I'll find out what space is. <laughs> You're fine, he'd say. Don't give up. It was right during his screening exams, too. It was kind of awkward. I came into the examination room, and I was like, Clay, I quit. And he was like, come on, man. <laughs> I couldn't have become a full-fledged lawyer without him. That you're fine of his is why I'm still standing here today. You're fine, huh? I'm fine. I think you're full of shit. You're fine and I'm fine were like your catchphrases, weren't they? <laughs> Something like that. Sure brings back memories. When we were in junior high, Clay's mom passed away in an accident. Thank you for the Hydrate Commander console handheld. But he wouldn't show his sadness to anyone. One night, I found him crying all alone in the school courtyard. I was like, that's embarrassing. Well, look at that guy. <laughs> who's, Cl who's Clay? Mom! Mom! Sob! Get away, Apollo! Don't come over here! <laughs> Clay, lis listen to me. I don't have a mother either. Fuck your ma! What? Now listen to this song. Isn't it great? It's called the Guitar Serenade. Hmm. I always think everybody else has a mom. Why am I the only one? But, you know, when I start to feel that way, I yell at the top of my lungs. I holler, I'm fine. And then, you know what? I start to feel like maybe I really will be fine. Apollo Justice is fine. Okay, Clay, now it's your turn. Oh, okay. Clay Terran is... is fine! Speaking of Clay, did you hear that they... the... the... <laughs> Wallace and Gromit guys, what are they called? Oddman Animation, they're running out of clay. Their clay oh. provider has uh, oh. gone out of business, so... They only have enough clay for, oh. for one more movie, apparently. Oh shit. So, we need more of this is guy. Is it like a very, like, specific kind of clay? I don't know, but that's what I heard. Huh. I mean, if they want the same results, yeah. I assume. I there you so. go. Now we're both fine. <laughs> now nah, we're fine. <laughs> we're fine. Jeez. <laughs> Little guy. What are you laughing about? <laughs> See? We're fine. You laugh first. <laughs> I'm fine. You're fine. We're both fine. I'm a dude. He's a dude. I'm a dude. She is a dude. <laughs> and we're all dudes. Hey! How are we going to get home? I don't know. I don't have parents either. Clay. Thanks, thanks, Apollo. <laughs> Thank me. <laughs> I was looking at the cat. No, he's like, don't you have anything to say? Come on, man. When you say it out loud, it really starts to feel real. And as long as you don't give up, you can keep on fighting. That's what we believed. As long as you don't give up. Wasn't there somebody else who said something similar? Oh, yeah, Tim Allen from uh, Galaxy Quest. I swear to Christ, don't ever call me Tim Allen again. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what the Tim okay. Allen like. If I give it to <laughs> my... <laughs> if I give it to my fear, I'll never find the truth. As long as I don't give up. 
I can keep up the fight. Why did you say don't ever call me Tim Allen and then start imitating Tim Allen <laughs> as best you could? Because the joke is that he is Tim Allen. Oh, that's the joke. Clay called Mr. Starbuck his mentor and looked up to him. I wonder if I can be a good role model for my staff like Mr. Starbuck. It's a bit late to start asking that. Sorry, Mr. Wright, but I'll be taking a leave of absence. What? Wait, what do you mean by a leave? You're, re you're really serious. Can you at least give me a reason why? No. I have backstory-itis. When I put Clay's That's jacket on... Writes on the paperwork. When I put Clay's jacket on... I swore to him that I would catch his killer myself. But that's our goal, too. I agree with Athena. We should work together to find the truth. The truth, huh? Eh, that's a noble cause. But what if the truth you seek and the truth I seek turn out to be different? I'm bad, Apollo. Okay. <laughs> Uh, I'm not sure I follow. What are you saying, Apollo? That rhymes. I'm going to catch the person responsible for taking my friend's life in my own way. Take good care of Mr. Starbuck for me. Now, I must be going. Goodbye. This is when he becomes Daredevil. <laughs> Ow, my eyes! <laughs> <laughs> just immediately as soon as he walks out the door. <laughs> Somebody just throws it. <laughs> I thought it was going to be the dick guillotine, but no, it was the eyes. <laughs> goodbye? Did he just say goodbye? I sense a lot of seething anger and hatred coming from him. Mainly because that's exactly how he sounded. Grr. And also suspicion. Ugh, he's not walking out on us on us like that. I'm gonna go talk some sense into him. Hold on, Athena. Let's watch, it'll be funny. <laughs> Apollo can believe what he wants, but I believe he's wrong. But also, him leaving is great for our overhead costs. Vaishni says he's becoming Apollo injustice. <laughs> Even if we take different paths, the truth we arrive at should be the same. All right. I think the quicker we solve this case, the better it'll be for Apollo. And our morale. Yeah, you're right, boss. All right. Let's end this. That's enough for one day. Make sure you're ready for tomorrow's trial, okay? Trial day? I think it might be. I think so. If he were here right now, Apollo would say, I'm fine. Everything is fine. I just hope things really do turn out fine tomorrow. So is this the second trial day? I think so. Uh, I believe so. Because there was the one... So there was the one that was... It, Isn't there another case? Well, yeah, there's, there's one the last case, case, yeah. But this no, is the No, there's final another day. case case. Oh, there is! Yeah, I think it's called Turnabout for Tomorrow. Ah. Uh, remember that And this one. one is the Cosmic Turnabout. I don't remember that one. Turn the defendant is different for the last one, I believe. Oh. So, like, we prove this guy innocent, and then there's someone else. Oh. December 20th, 10.15 a.m., District Court, courtroom number five. So it's a continuation of this case? Yes. Ah, okay, that's probably... Look at him, there he is. It. The man... <laughs> what? There he's not. I suppose we should reconvene the trial of Solomon Starbuck or something? He's scared. He's scared. Sam Regal. Uh, Your Honor? Could you please... He's scared of Sam Regal. Come out from under your bench? <laughs> there are no more bombs, I promise. Oh yeah, I forgot about that too. The strike is over. <laughs> you mean I can talk about movies again? You can talk about any movie you want. <laughs> Die hard. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's a good one. 
<laughs> oh, yes, um, my apologies. I'm still a little jumpy when it comes to trials involving bombs. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I first the Die card Hard exploded. And... <laughs> <laughs> Watch Die Hard and then the card room explodes. <laughs> Whoa. And then Mr. Tonate self destructed. I guess that's one way of describing what happened to Tonate. Anyway, it seems that Mr. Justice was seriously wounded by Mr. Tonate's actions. So you, Mr. Wright, will be taking up the defense? Do you have an understanding of what has happened in the trial so far? Yeah, yeah, I guess. <laughs> Good enough for me. Yes, Your Honor, the defense is ready. I think I'm caught up. <laughs> Very well. Is the prosecution also ready? Uh... Uh... Hmm? I take it you'd like me to give the opening statement this time? Looks like the judge has become a pretty good mind reader. Well, he's certainly seen more than his fair share of colorful prosecutors. You could say he's something of a veteran of sorts. Let's see. In the previous part of this trial, we learned that the victim, Clay Terran, Escaped from Launchpad 1 carrying the defendant, Solomon Starbuck. There were explosions on the second floor of the Space Center and on the rocket itself. The two astronauts used Launchpad 1 used the Launchpad 1 corridor to reach the boarding lounge. And how could the victim climb down the ladder if he was carrying the defendant? That was the mystery that needed to be solved. But Mr. Justice proved that the victim was killed in the boarding lounge. Prosecutor Blackwell, were you able to discover any new facts related to this point? Oh, that's me. Yeah. Upon further investigation, we discovered an oxygen tank fragment in the lounge. Surprisingly, it would appear that Justice Dolo's argument was correct. So that means the testimonies of the first two people on the scene are suspect. There were two people who claimed to be the first on the scene. But can we truly trust their statements? And were there actually two people? Because when I looked, it looked like one, but that's because one of my eyes is covered. Not gonna talk about it. <laughs> it's fine. Let's see. The two people were Detective Candace Arm and Yuri Cosmos, right? You think that one of them might have given a false statement to the police? Yes, it's certainly possible. We might have to do a little more digging. And just as our team was about to cross-examine Detective Arm, the courtroom bombing incident occurred and the trial was put on hold. That accursed fellow. He killed my witness. He killed Detective Arm. He definitely put the kibosh on anyone asking her about what she saw. Exactly. In other words, the question of who killed the victim in the boarding lounge has once again become the focus of this trial. It's obvious prof... Blah. It's obvious Prosecutor Blackwell still thinks it was Mr. Starbuck. You want to call me Professor again? Oh. <laughs> Holbride said that Blackwell has a thing against the astronaut. Nevertheless. The defense argues there was a third person in the lounge, and that's who killed the victim. Objection. That's what you always argue. Well, it wor works. Uh, God. <laughs> To make such reckless claims in a courtroom makes a bold man, or a stupid one. Well... <laughs> there was no third person in the boarding lounge. Or have you gone dotty already, old man? Objection! I'm 
We'll see who's the dotard after I trounce you with my years of experience, little boy. In any case, Mr. Starbuck claims he saw someone leaving the lounge. Did you see? He tried to top me. He tried. Furthermore, he tried. a Space Center employee also saw a suspicious figure at the scene. Little boy. <laughs> they saw a third person? Ah, uh, I see my sister has been running her mouth. Ugh, my sister. Ugh. <laughs> Uncool. That's right. I almost forgot that Aura is Prosecutor Blackwell's sister. That was 20 minutes <clears throat> ago, bro. <laughs> no matter. She didn't see this mystery person's face clearly. Therefore, there is no evidence to indicate that this person was not the defendant. Huh. I guess the possibility that the figure was Mr. Starbuck is still there. In brief, we need to determine if a third person was there or not. To this end, to this end, we should hear the testimony of one of the first people on the scene. Director Cosmos, huh? Oh, yeah. Very well. Bailiff, please bring the witness to the stand. <laughs> Why, I believe I've seen you before in the newspapers. Of course you have. Of course you have. For I am Yuri Cosmos, director of the Cosmos Space Center, which was, of course, named after me, Yuri Cosmos. I'm Yuri Cosmos. Don't you have anything you wish to ask me? What's your name? Yeah. Looks like he's all geared up to do some bragging. Seven years ago, I successfully launched the Hat One and... Good. Everyone already knows how brilliant you are. Even I am trying to hold back my tears at seeing such a great man standing before me. So could you please proceed directly to your important testimony? <laughs> I see this fine young lad has a proper appreciation of greatness. Then allow me to begin my epochal testimony that will be recorded in the annals of history. <laughs> Yeah, Marin, you might have to turn your gain up when you're doing that voice. <sighs> that speech of Prosecutor Blackwell's just now... It sounded more to me like he was poking fun at Director Cosmos. It's probably for the best that it sailed right over the Director's head. Now then, Director Cosmos, the condensed version of your illustrious testimony, please. What I saw at the scene. Detective Arm and I rushed towards the boarding lounge together. We went via the control room and peeked in from there to see what was going on inside. We saw a figure standing in the middle of the lounge and Terran lying on the floor. I hate to say it, but I can only imagine the standing figure must have been Starbuck. Hmm, I see. So in your testimony, you claim... You arrived on the scene after the two had escaped from the launch pad to the lounge. And just after the victim had been killed. Oh, the horror! The humanity! But what I said is what I saw, and what I saw is what I said. Courageous action to take in the face of such terrifying explosions, wouldn't you say? To save my men, I went personally into the epicenter of danger. Risking my own life for theirs! <laughs> well, 
Well, what do you know? It sounds like the director really cares about his men. I love my men! <laughs> Who are you caring about? Caring about other men? Hey. Yeah, although it sounds more like he was scared and just had a peek from far away. A peek. Is the defense ready to cross-examine the witness? Yes, Your Honor. Director Cosmos's testimony is pretty vague. I'm going to have to press him and draw out more information before I do anything else. Who are you pressing, other men? I want to press some other men. What I saw at the scene. Hold it. You guys are going to make out? You're going to smooch? Where are you coming from? The sixth floor. We were making sure any stragglers made their way to the fourth floor. It was where, then we heard about Starbuck and Terran and hurried to the third floor lounge. On my galactic scooter here, of course. Why do you keep calling it galactic? Does it have something to do with space? Of course, it's specifically designed to be used on galactic battleships. Dragon sandwiches, thank you for the follow there. I see. And I take it it works in it's zero G too. Void adept, thank you for the the vamp redeem. And Ninja Warlord, thank you for the ten bits. He saw a penis. <laughs> what? I wish I did. <laughs> Sadly, no. With the current state of technology as it is, I did not see a penis. <laughs> I'm afraid it would just float about Damn. and be galactically useless. <laughs> Shut down. <laughs> the penis? Ooh, well, that's a galactic bummer. <laughs> I see. So you rushed to the boarding lounge on your space age pogo stick. Yeah. That's what I called my penis. Oh, God. <laughs> and when you got to the scene, what did you see? Judge. <laughs> Hold it. Hold it. Let's see. According to this diagram, you didn't have to go through the control room to get to Boarding Lounge 1. It looks like you could have gone there from the Southern Corridor as well. Yes, but in her haste, Detective Arm rushed ahead of me towards the control room. All I could do was merely follow behind her. I see. Boy, Depp says, I mean, and I'm not joking here, is it's actually very hard to get a boner in zero gravity because your blood pressure is much lower. Sounds that like sounds a like a challenge, yeah. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Would not stop us, I'm telling you. <laughs> I, have a, I have a boner everywhere, and I just got one. So we peeked into the boarding lounge from the control room door and... So you couldn't see who that figure was clearly, or what they were doing. Sadly, the only thing I could tell was that it was a person, standing motionless. Oh, that's me. Yes. The defendant. The defendant, no doubt, was staring aghast at his deed. What other explanation is there? Ah! I'm so close, but without evidence, I can't prove that person's the third party. I don't relish in this, and, uh... Hold it! Hold it. Aura Blackwell also saw a suspicious figure in the lounge. A suspicious figure. But she gave the statement that it was too dark to see the person's face clearly. Did you see this figure's face clearly? No, not clearly. The lighter they were holding illuminated the area around their feet at the time. So, show me their feet, let me see. And I'll be able to tell you. Them I want to see them feet. <laughs> show me the feet. <laughs> but other than that, I could see little else. Hello, Ribbonfly. Hi, Ribbonfly. Show us them toes. Show us them toes. Show us them <laughs> yeah. grippers. 
Oh my god. Oh my god. So I have to go off topic because um, toes have been brought up and Snoopy okay. loves Crocs. So I feel as though it's a necessary <laughs> conversation. But like, okay. Go on. So I was scrolling through Facebook and you know how like five minute crafts, which is basically like if somebody took cocaine and knew how to barely do a craft, that is what five minute crafts is. Yeah. And this particular craft was making attachments for the front of your crocs and that looked like it, toes that looked like toes and not only that oh. I am, you can buy those and i literally just sent a link to my raid group the other day with those wow wow, <laughs> wow. okay so you've already become aware <laughs> of the toe croc oh yeah but oh, here's yeah. the the kicker right the person so they did this by making a mold of the this person's feet but the oh person they chose had an extra toe what the fuck they but had... you can already buy the croc charm interesting why did they need to make them because it's a five minute craft and can you buy oh a croc God. charm with one extra toe i didn't think so yeah hmm. you can just buy the extra croc charm but it's natural <laughs> <laughs> okay, you're right. I do want it to be natural. <laughs> <laughs> natural Crocs. I yeah. was just like, why the fuck? The front, the whole front of this croc is covered with feet. <laughs> you know, you can get like little like headlights for your Crocs. No. <laughs> it's so funny. I'm and like so... little tiny show snow shovels. Crocs are, they're a menace, honestly. Like, no, they're perfect. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I you could leave them alone. <laughs> That's why I could see Terran, but I couldn't see who the other person was. I could see their crocs because they had flashlights on their toes. <laughs> so for all you know, it might not have been Mrs. Starbucks crocs, isn't that correct? Or been anyone's crocs. I would like to believe that. Starbuck isn't the type of man who's capable of wearing crocs. <laughs> <laughs> That's because he's weak. <laughs> Crocs are fucking amazing, first of all. But when the witness entered the boarding lounge, there was no third person there. You know, a jump to the sky turns to a rider kick. Uh, Rainbow Love Goddess, thank you for resubscribing for 23 months. I don't know this right song. Really sure thing. I don't I like your pants around your feet. Sing it. I like feet around your pants. Pants, feet, feet. Yes, that's real. Don't about feet and pants. Is that a thing? Yes, it's a real song. I don't actually know that one. I was singing a different one, which I believe was a Nickelback song. So. Oh, I'm not familiar with <laughs> with Nickelback's version either. I like the dirt that's on your knees, but I don't remember the rest. I like the way you still say please when you're looking up at me. I like the pants around your feet. I like feet around your pants. Pants, feet, feet. I don't know it. Not familiar, but anyway, thank you for henshining Rainbow Love Goddess and resubscribing for almost two years there. Just one month shy of two years. We do appreciate it. Thank you for shining that double rainbow of subscription down on us there. All the way across the sky. Remember that. Anyway. Soupy is indeed AFK. And Marin and I are both very tired. So we do apologize if we're not 1,000% on top of things. <laughs> yeah, I was going to ask if maybe we could wrap around 2.30. You want to wrap around 2.30? We... Honestly, that's a good idea because uh, <clears throat> I have to take my Stellara today as well. So if I wrap around then... Thank you for the Hydrate Command there, Senmaru. If, I wrap... if we wrap around then, I can pull out my Stellara and get that ready for 3 o'clock. I want to stop by the store and get some eggs because I forgot to grab some when I was out earlier. Uh, okay. And then I was going to go to the, the other shop. I'm going to take my meds ribbon fly. It's happening today. I'm looking forward to it because I've been feeling rough and I really need yeah. sleep. <laughs> I really need a full night's sleep more than anything right now. <laughs> it's been a hard month. It's been a difficult one. It's been a difficult one. Real hard. It'll be all right. I'm stressed out. It'll be all right. Yeah. But we'll get through it. Me and Marin, we get through we get through whatever life throws at us. And life has been throwing stuff at us <laughs> a lot this past year. And it's gonna I I would be very surprised if Can you turn your gain up a little bit, another, sorry. I was just saying I would be very surprised if we did not see another hardball coming our way before the end of the year. Oh no. 
yeah unfortunately i don't i just don't feel yeah like i don't feel confident about these video game negotiations i really don't and if we didn't get what we need in the negotiations we just had i don't see how we're gonna get what we need without a strike in the next negotiation so yeah and that one's gonna hurt a lot more so here we go here we go but you know we'll persevere we'll find a way yeah Sending all the curry vibes. Thank you, Dark Worm. Appreciate the curry vibes. We need those. We need the doodala uh, pick me up. The cur the curry pick me pick me up. I wish a Karibo would come pick me up. I would feel better. Wouldn't it be great to have uh, a Karibo like a, a cushion a Karibo cushion to just lay down? Huh? Uh, as big as your fat guy. Thank you for the head pat there, Ribbon Fly. Hang on one sec. Thank you for the head pat, Ribbon Fly. Do appreciate it. And thank you, Ryu Karika, Turn turning it down for one. And thank you, Ankoku no Megami, for. Sorry, the other way around. Thank you, Ryu Karika, for getting us high up. And then thank you to Ankoku no Megami for turning us down for one. Can you tell we're tired? <laughs> Can you tell we're sleepy? Uh, I had a weird dream last night that I tried tweeting a picture of the dog. And I accidentally tweeted a picture of, like, I accidentally tweeted some sort of nude selfie that I've never, I've not taken, obviously. Huh. But I, in the dream, I was convinced that I just flashed my audience and I was horrified. But yeah. obviously, that's not a thing that I've ever done. I had a dream Got that, that I just in time to hear that story. Oh, gosh. Back. <laughs> I was going to say, I had a dream that I accidentally posted porn. Which, oh, really? Like, Never happened on public, but I did accidentally send someone porn once. <laughs> but uh, to be honest, I was supposed to be sending them porn anyway, so it wasn't like it was just the wrong porn. It was it was the wrong porn. Uh, Stella Coyote, thank you for the Proto Badger release. Uh, Ribbon Fly, thank you for bonking Marin. Uh, presumably for posting porn. I don't know, <laughs> but uh, I didn't. That was before that. I know. <laughs> I didn't do shit. I'm not sure what it was for. <laughs> Uh, Soupy, did I ever tell you the story about accidentally sending ERP to, to a customer in Star Wars Galaxies? I don't think you've told me this story specifically, I don't think. Okay, well basically, the gist of it is, I was ERPing, which if you don't know, that's erotic roleplay in Star Wars Galaxies with my in-game wife, and uh, we were having the sex, or we were getting into the sex, and mm -hmm. when... When I, I when I was playing Star Wars Galaxies, I was a tailor. I was a master tailor. So uh, a lot of people would message me being like, can you make me look like a Jedi? Or can you make me like this outfit? And I would be happy to. And I would often get private messages. And we were private messaging the ERP together. And so I would, I would type slash reply in order to continue the ERP. And then bloody uh, so right as I was about to hit reply, to the sex to get my pants off and pulling, you know, <laughs> doing stuff. Uh, I, I got an order for a pair of pants via direct message and I oh, hit no. slash reply to them and uh, they got they got an eyeful <laughs> of my ERP <laughs> paragraph. That's the last time they ask an, uh, Master Taylor for a favor. They were very amused. <laughs> <laughs> But it was very embarrassing at the time. I also had to just, I had to copy and paste what I had actually written to my in-game wife because I had mm. spent a lot of time mm. working on it. So she, she didn't see like, it initially. Well, I'm not going to let this go to waste. Yes. So. <laughs> but I had to fly off off planet and send them a pair of pants and uh, they were very amused when I got to see them. Kink Karibo. Yes, Rain. <laughs> Man, there was... I used to go out of my way to send missiles to people. Really? Pretending I was cybering on <laughs> Final Fantasy XI as a joke. That's Because funny. there was this one guy who had a crush on me and my friend. And so, like... But I would send him stupid shit. I'd be like, and then the beach ball pops. <laughs> like, what? And then it's like, then it's like, oh, sorry, wrong person. Oh, no. Yeah. <laughs> oh, no. He Juliano. Was, he was... He was not a good person. <laughs> oh, okay. Juliano, thank you for the 10 bits. Uh, if Bastion was a lawyer, do you think he would apply quantum mechanics in it? In law? I don't actually know what quantum mechanics are, I'll be honest. <laughs> so that's a difficult question in, 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 in many levels, but... 
big for That's okay, because we also brain. don't know what law is. That's true. Mm -hmm. I think absolutely if Bastion was a lawyer in Ace Attorney world, he would find a way to apply quantum mechanics to law. It would be a very amusing character quirk. He would be doing math equations while doing testimony. Marin, did you say this line? Mm, I don't know. When the witness entered the boarding lounge, there was no third person there. The study of physics at the very smallest scales. I'm guessing he would do that to study evidence. Isn't that correct, great space center director? Yes, that's right. Only Starbuck and Terran were there by that time. After we peeked in, the lounge suddenly went dark and the figure vanished. You mean they disappeared? That's odd. Objection. The reason the figure appeared to vanish is because it was the defendant. When the witnesses weren't looking, he fell to the floor and feigned unconsciousness. Oh, Marin, Ribbonfly was trying to head pat you, apparently. Shit. <laughs> Hold on. Director Cosmos, did you ever take your eyes off the scene? Just for a brief instant, about as long as it takes for a shooting star to go by. If you took your eyes off the scene, then this third person could have escaped during that time on a shooting star. <laughs> One sec. Mm -hmm. I took another bite of breakfast burrito. The betrayal. <laughs> By the way, Soupy Marin was asking if we could wrap things up around 2.30 because we're pretty tired. Yep, that sounds right. good. <clears throat> but what escape route could this person have used? The direction opposite the control room. The southern door to the elevators. The stove. <laughs> he hid in the stove. Look, <laughs> C-A-T. <laughs> <laughs> There is no security lock on that door. There's no security lock on that door, so it would have been possible to escape that way. Hat. <laughs> All things are possible, right, Dodo? The real question is, do you have any proof? Uh, well... If we're just talking possibilities, we should... We could each profess whatever we like. I'd like your dick. An inmate who used to be an inverse of a bah, bah, bah. An inmate yeah. who used to be a university professor and lunar researcher used to say, I'm very tired. Oh, dear. But there is a kingdom of little green men who live under the surface of the moon. There are? No. As long as they don't punish us in the name of said moon for what we've done to it. Ah, oh, Sailor Moon, I'm a weeb. <laughs> but I say, where's your proof that this quaint kingdom even exists? He's calling your theory of work of fiction, boss. Sailor Moon is a documentary, Athena. <laughs> if only you had the eyes to see. <laughs> the third man was Sailor Mars. <laughs> and he's right. I don't have any proof yet. Still. The southern door was a possible escape route. I'd better make a mental note of that. Director Cosmos, may I ask you a question? Yes? How dare you? What gives you the right? <laughs> Why did you look away from the boarding lounge? <laughs> That's actually another tale of bravery to answer... Hang on. There's actually another tale of bravery behind the answer to that. It was when Detective Arm saw the figure and raised her gun. Being a great humanitarian and protector of mankind, I tried to stop her. What? You're saying Detective Arm raised her gun as soon as she saw the figure? I'm guessing Candace Arm disarmed this guy as opposed to the other way around. I imagine her instincts as a detective told her they were the killer. Huh. Or can, yeah, can disarm the bad guy. I don't know about that. And were you able to prevent Detective Arm from firing her gun? 
I'm afraid I was too late. I was unable to stop her. She identified herself clearly and then... She fired two warning shots at the shadowy figure. Yeah, I had a feeling it was a reference to an anime there, Anno Kaiser. Hmm. This information about Detective Arm's actions sounds critically important. Please add it to your testimony. Blah, 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 blah. Detective Arm fired two warning shots at the figure. I'm guessing... Oh, shit. And neither of these two shots hit the culprit? That is correct. The detective appears to have missed on purpose. Huh. But did she really? There's something about this that bothers me. So Detective Arm fired two warning shots, did she? That's the first time that info has come out. I wonder if I can find any inconsistencies. I assume it's related to the bullets. You only found the one bullet hole, right? Was it just yeah, the one? the one bullet and the one just bullet the hole. One. Yeah. It looked like a spider web. Boom. Objection! Way. Are you sure you were really paying attention to what Detective Arm was doing? You doubt my words? Words that will someday be written down in history books? Somehow, I don't think that those exact words will ever be written down in any history books. Damn. Mr. Wright, could you please explain yourself so that we can all understand? Have you seen the Ridley Scott when historians have criticized the historical accuracy of uh, his new Napoleon movie? His response was, well, were they there? <laughs> okay. That, you cut out for me. Oh, sorry, He's Soupy. Dead. Oh, good. Then, were they there? <laughs> he was like, well, they weren't there, oh. were they? <laughs> you say the I detective... Huh? Neither was he. You say that Detective Arm fired two warning shots. And yet, only one bullet hole was ever found at the scene. By me, personally, Phoenix Wright. What? Only one bullet hole means the gun was only fired once. And yet, Director Cosmos is saying Detective Arm fired two shots. No editor would allow such a glaring contradiction into a history book. Objection. Like this guy's ever read a history book. <laughs> Unfortunately for you, I only watch movies, and the witness's words are true. We confirmed that two shots were fired from Detective Arm's gun. Objection! But there was only one bullet hole at the scene. Where did the other bullet hole vanish to? Show me the hole. Ah! The homophobic bird. I said hole too many times. <laughs> you should know the answer to that already. You should I should? During the previous trial, a certain oxygen tank was presented as evidence. We've already discussed that it was ruptured in the lounge, have we not? I was ruptured in the lounge. Oh, God. <laughs> she sure was. Yeah. I mean, what? Well, <laughs> it appears that the thing that ruptured the tank and not Mr. Wright's butthole was a bullet. <laughs> <laughs> Although he probably had a little magic bullet there, too. A bullet that was found <laughs> hey, near the tank, to be honest. <laughs> Probably in his butthole right now, being controlled <laughs> via a Bluetooth device from Europe somewhere. <laughs> What's that vibrating noise I hear? <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> it's Michael's penis. <laughs> no. <laughs> it was a 90 Day Fiance thing where, anyway. This bullet was fired from a 38 caliber gun. The same caliber as the detective's gun. What? Oxygen tank data updated in the court record. The victim's oxygen tank was struck by a bullet. <laughs> the rifling march all mar, mar, rifling marks also match up. There's a rifling march? <laughs> Nobody no invited question. me. There is no question that the bullet was fired from Detective Arm's gun. 
bullet from arms gun added to the court record. The bullet found near the victim's oxygen tank. It was fired from a 38 caliber handgun. But of course, we have another bullet, so... <laughs> right? Yes. Rifling marks. They're like a gun's fingerprints on a bullet, correct? <laughs> <laughs> Classic. I need to be reminded of this every year. Every year. <laughs> and examining the rifling marks on a bullet can tell us the gun it was fired from? To be fair, the last Ace Attorney game that came out before this one was in 2007. So, and this that one is was true, 2015. So. He needed a little reminder. There's, yeah, there's quite a bit of time and a lot of people forgot about ballistic marking. <laughs> time, sure. It's easy to forget. <laughs> yeah. One of the bullets the detective fired found its way into the holographic image display. The other bullet came to a stop near the victim's oxygen tank. The evidence confirms the director's statement that the detective fired two shots. My beautiful contradiction! Gone! All gone! Unless that bullet hole has always been there. So that bullet hole is from a 38 caliber, right? Huh? I better update the record. Bullet hole updated in the court record. So what is the caliber of the bullet that we just got? That's 38. That's supposed to be detective arms, so that should have gone yes, in the screen. I, I want to see the bullet. Okay. Okay. All right. And then we have this That's one. That's the bullet from is... arms gun. And yeah. then that one's different. So they didn't both come from the same gun, at least we know. Right. Yeah. Very good. Now we know the fate of both of the shots that Detective Arm fired. Mr. Wright, does that clear up all of your questions? Hmm. Detective Arm fired two warning shots. One hit the holographic display, and the other hit the oxygen tank. Does that really clear up everything about what happened at the scene? No. No. No, Your Honor. It doesn't. De what is it now? Detective Arm fired two warning shots from a 38 caliber gun. But that doesn't explain the existence of a certain piece of evidence found at the scene. By me. A piece that points to the existence of a third person. Just it points to the evidence of a second gun. Nani the fuck? Ara. <laughs> Very well. But it won't do to keep us waiting, Mr. Wright. What piece of evidence suggests the possibility of a third person at the scene? That second bullet. Take that! Teeny. And what is this metal pellet supposed to be? Just a little something of great importance we found at the crime scene, Your Honor. You found it where? In a floor gutter at the crime scene. It looks like the police and prosecution both missed it. Furthermore, this is a 10 caliber bullet. Making it much smaller than one of Detective Arms' 38 calibers. <clears throat> then that means... Exactly. One more person must have been there at the lounge. A third person who had a gun that could fire 10 caliber bullets. No dumper. <laughs> Unfortunate. And if that's true, it explains why Detective Arm fired warning shots. This third person fired at Detective Arm and Director Cosmos with their gun. <clears throat> And in return, the detective fired her warning shots. Isn't that how it really went down, Director Cosmos? Ha ha ha! It looks like you've deduced my miraculous tale of survival. Yes, you're absolutely correct. The mystery person fired upon us. Sorry, I didn't see that. Oh, you're fine. He just went, what's this now? What? You never breathed a word of any of this to me before. Ha ha ha! Well, all great men have a secret or two, don't you know? 
<laughs> so Director Cosmos really has been hiding the presence of a third person all along. Director Cosmos, I want you to testify to the court about what you really saw. Sorry, I'm lagging a little oh, bit again. Dear. Can you hear me okay? I can hear you fine, yeah. Okay. You may be a very great man, but in my courtroom, you are just another witness. You won't receive special treatment here. Now, please give accurate testimony. Bum bum. What I really saw at the scene. For reals. <laughs> Detective Arm and I rushed to the... Huh? Oh, I said for real this time. Yes. Detective Arm and I rushed to the control room together. In the lounge, we saw a figure standing in the middle of the room and Terran on the floor. We were still in the control room to the east when the figure fired at us. Hmm. Given that there was no third person in the lounge when the witness entered it. Does this mean the person who fired the gun had to have been the defendant? Mm -mm, mm -mm. Not necessarily. It's still possible that it was someone else. Most likely as soon as Detective Arm and Director Cosmos discovered this person. They escaped through the southern door, the one that it didn't have a dis yeah. the one that didn't have a security lock. Objection. Blah, blah, blah. Double edged swords are a tricky lot. Mishandle one, and it is you who is cut down. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> huh? Your reasoning could could apply if Space Boy were the killer as well. I suppose. Think about it. After being discovered, he could have fired the ten caliber gun. Detective Arm would have responded by firing two warning shots. All he had to do was feign unconsciousness to invent the possibility of a third person. Objection! But Mr. Starbuck didn't have a gun in his possession when he was found by police. Nor has a gun been found at the crime scene. Its absence can only be explained if there was a third party who took it with them. Recall the existence of a trash chute in the boarding lounge. The defendant could have simply thrown the gun down the chute. Have you checked? Objection! <clears throat> but you can't deny the possibility of a third person leaving with the weapon. Objection! Hey. Yes, I can. Here I go. No, they didn't. <laughs> it's up to you to prove that possibility. Objection! And I trust you haven't forgotten my little piece of decisive advice. Advice? Evidence. What advi ev evidence? I don't <laughs> fucking know anymore. I'm tired. Why, the detonator switch that was found on Mr. Starbuck's pocket. Naturally. Is inside that? Inside of it, not on it. <clears throat> the most compelling evidence of all that tells us he is the culprit. Ah, I did forget about all that. Forget all about that. What a good lawyer. It's great. Look, your baldness, how deliciously obvious it is that they lack the evidence to rival mine. I don't know why his sister hates lawyers so much. They are obviously very competent <laughs> at what they're doing. I'm so good. Wow, he sliced our third-person theory to ribbons and served it to us just like that. Yes, well, I have a question of my own, actually. That bullet that the mysterious figure shot, what did it hit exactly? <clears throat> it hit me. So does that mean you're a, a ghost? <laughs> I was wondering when you would realize that your baldness. Boo! <laughs> this has never happened to me before. 
Director Cosmos is an authentic, bona fide ghost. He can even pass through walls. Oh, shit. <laughs> ah! We do a little bit of trolling as a treat. <laughs> LOL. Prosecutor LOL, Blackwell. I mean, <laughs> LOL. I haven't laughed. Shame on you for teasing the time. nice old gentleman. LOL. I'm still laughing so hard. <laughs> Your baldness. It was all in jest. Please show yourself again. LOL. 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 Are you sure? In that case. Waffle copters. <laughs> How did you manage to survive being shot, Director Cosmos? <laughs> I am glad you asked. It was a miracle. A miracle befitting a great history-making figure such as myself. The bullet hit my glorious Medal of Honor, whereby it ricocheted, thus saving my life. What? <laughs> yeah. That's unbelievable. I have to check this out. Oh, wow. Look at that. There's one extra Gaiaxa star. Oh, yeah. The odds are literally astronomical. I guess it really was. I guess the miracle really do happen. <laughs> it's beginning to really feel like the Cosmos is watching out for, di for Director Cosmos. Cosmos on Cosmos action. <laughs> but why did you conceal this information, Director Cosmos? A great man such as myself has to hide things on occasion, no matter how much it hurts. It is the plight of the truly great. It may be hard for this generation to understand. I don't know, but it sounds fishy to me. What else is he hiding? Let's just cross-examine him and see what we can find out. Now then, Mr. Wright. Your cross-examination, please. Do we want to cross-examine him and then call it, or do we want to call it now? I think Up to you guys. Would be better. Call it now? Yeah. All right. Sounds like we're calling it there, guys. Sorry for a bit of a low-energy one. We really are not sleeping well right now. We've, we've been lacking a bit of sleep. But, we did uh, get through a bunch, though. We did get through a yeah. fair bit. We're, not, we're probably going to finish this case at the uh, next time, I imagine. And hopefully Hope we'll so. have a Karina we here as well all right Hope so hopefully karina's doing well at anime nyc all right guys thanks for joining us today let me see if there's anyone i can raid marin was there anything you wanted to say to the stream chat before we head out here um, watch a movie <laughs> watch a movie you're and allowed now you're allowed to talk about it and watch it and uh soupy was there anything you wanted to say before we popped off here Thanks for joining us, everybody. Another good time. Well done. We done yeah. did it well. We did it. Right, Rikarika, thank you for the 10 bits. It's been fun. Love you all. Take care. Have a great night. See you all next time. Bye. All right. We're going to raid uh, Scylla Aria. I think that's how you say their name. Uh, she is currently playing, or they are currently playing uh, Until Dawn. And uh, that's a, a game that Marin and I used to play all the time uh, with friends. It's always fun. It's a little horror game. <laughs> Uh, Ninja Wall, thank you for the 10 bits. Pegging forever. Yes, indeed. Yeah. Yeah. Classic Spice Girls hit. Pegging forever. <laughs> All right, guys. We're going to head out. It's been... I'm going to go... I'm going to go lie down lie or down. something. <laughs> I'm going to take my medication. I'm going to lie down. Uh, we'll see you guys next, next Sunday for more Ace Attorney. I'll probably see you guys in the coming week. Hopefully, I'll have gotten more sleep. We have Thanksgiving coming up this week as well. So, happy Thanksgiving if we don't see you before then. And uh, uh, great rest of your Sunday. <laughs> Bye. Bye, everybody. Bye. See ya.